Alrighty guys, it's Amit here and welcome back to Dev Dreamer. So guys, in this lesson then, we're taking a look at lists in HTML. Now, lists are actually really important to have on websites because you can use them to actually display different types of information, such as, um, you know, it could be a list of items you've got for sale on your site. It could be a list of articles that you've written. It could even be a list of links that go to other pages on the site. Now, in this lesson, you're going to be learning everything you need to know about lists in HTML. So let's begin. So there are two basic list types in HTML. We have um, an unordered list and we have an ordered list. Okay, so uh, let's just write them out here. So we've got unordered list. Okay, and the other one is an ordered list. Ordered list. Okay, so what's the difference between the two here? Well, let's start with unordered list first. Now to write an un unordered list, we simply do open bracket. And then we do UL, um, and the UL stands for um, unordered list. Um, and then inside this, then we can actually write our list items. To write a list item, we do LI. So an opening LI tag and a closing one. Now in between here, then we can actually write what we want a list item to say. And we're going to be doing a shopping list, so let's go for milk. Um, I'm just going to copy this, and let's paste it in, and let's go for uh, let's go for bread. Okay. What else? What else we can have on our shopping list? Um, let's go for let's go for cheese. Cheese, if I can spell it. <laughs> okay, and let's copy this one more time. Let's go for one more. Let's go for um, let's go for carrots. Okay, so as you can see, then in our browser window here, and um, with the unordered list, each list item is actually denoted with this uh, bullet point. Okay, as you can see here. So that's the unordered list. Let's now take a look at the ordered list. So to write an ordered list, we simply do uh, open bracket, we do OL, so remember UL stood for unordered list, OL stands for ordered list, okay? Um, and I'm just going to copy these because no point writing this out again, okay? And now as you can see then, the difference between the two here then is for the ordered list, each list item is actually numbered, so we've got one, two, three, four. Um, you know, if we were to go in and do another one here, um, let's go for, let's go for potatoes. Okay, and you can see now that potatoes is actually now number five on our list. And if we were to continue in this fashion and do, uh, and if we had 10 items here, then they'd all be numbered from one to 10. Now we can actually make these links as well. So we can go here and we can just throw in our anchor tag at the front here. A href. Uh, I'm just going to put a hashtag in here for now just to make this a link. Um, and let's move this closing anchor tag and put it at the end of our list item here. Okay, and now as you can see, milk is now a link, a clickable link. And you can do the same with all the others as well. Now you can also style these uh, lists as well. So let me just show you some basic styling on this. So um, let's go over to our style.css sheet. And let's just open this up, style.css. And now let's select the UL, the unordered list. So we just do uh, UL, okay, curly braces. And then inside here, I'm just going to do list style type. And we're going to go for none. Now as you can see, um, the bullet points have actually disappeared. We can do the same thing actually for the ordered list as well. Um, and this is just a CSS um, selector. We'll be looking at CSS selectors and everything to do with CSS uh, further on down the line. But essentially all we're doing is we're selecting the UL and the OL, uh, separating it by a comma there. And we're just changing the list style type for both of them to none. And that's why uh, the bullet points and the numbers have both disappeared. Let's do some other styling to this then. Let's target the LIs. So we're going to target all the list items in for uh, both of them. Let's just do color red. Um, and as you can see, we turn it into uh, red. We can change the font size as well. Let's go for 20 pixels. Okay, and as you can see, it's bumped up to 20 pixels. Um, now, although you can actually remove the list style type on these, there are some that you have available to you in HTML. Let's just take a look at a few of them now. Um, so we have circle. Okay, and as you can see, now we've got these red circles. Um, the reason why they're red is because the, the text is red as well. Let's just get rid of this. Okay, and as you can see, we've got uh, black circles now. Um, what else have we got in here? Let's see. We can change it to um, lower Greek. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, and I've got some Greek letters there. Um, let's see what else we've got. Uh, as you can see, guys, there's a ton of different ones you can choose from. I've got Low Roman here as well. Um, and let's now maybe go for just one more to show you an example. Let's go for Square here. Okay, as you can see, you've got Square. Um, let's get rid of this and let's change it back to uh, None. Okay, and as you can see now they've disappeared. So as you can see guys, it is really simple to actually uh, write these lists out um, as well as apply some basic styling to them as well. So let me just collapse these now because I'm going to share with you um, another type of list. Not, I know I said that there's only two, but uh, there is another one, but it's not really used very often. But this one is called the definition list. Okay, um, as I said, it's not used very often, but um, it is good to actually know it as well. So let's just type in the DL tags, which stand for definition list. Okay. 
And then inside here, then we can do uh, DT tags, and that stands for uh, definition title. And then here we can just give it a title, let's just go for uh, shopping list. Okay, shopping list. Um, and then what we can do, I'm just for a break tag in here actually to uh, just move this down a little. Okay, um, and then what we need to do is we need to define the uh, definition description. Okay, so DD. And, and then inside here we can actually put our list item. So let's go again for uh, milk. Let's copy this. And uh, let's copy it down a few times. Uh, so we've got milk, we've got bread. Uh, we've got cheese on the list and finally we have carrots okay and now here in the browser you can see that we have our title shopping list and then we have our list items now we can actually get rid of all these here and we can actually put all our list items in the one tag um, and just separate them by uh, commas so we had bread we had um, cheese and finally we had carrots and as you can see then in the browser window here all list items are now on one line let's just put a colon in here all list items are on one line and they're all separated by a comma okay guys so that is how you include lists in html so just a quick recap we have unordered lists which list our items with bullet points and then we have ordered lists which list our items with numbers so i hope that was useful guys please subscribe and i'll see you on the next one